So when it comes to choosing the right integrated amplifier, hi-fi enthusiasts and audiophiles have a lot to consider. Functionality is obviously important, and having the right feature set might be high on the priority list. In other words, do you need a built-in DAC or the ability to stream? Do you need subwoofer outputs? And if so, do you need crossover points that can be determined by the amplifier? So in the case of the EXM1 Plus, some of these features are ultimately traded for what Kinky Studio believes is the most important thing of all, performance and sound quality. Welcome back to New Record Day. My name is Ron. If you are into two-channel audio, consider yourself an audiophile or music enthusiast. Welcome home. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and bell notification so you know when the next video drops. In today's video, New Record Day takes a look at one heck of an integrated amplifier from Kinky Studio. <laughs> Kinky Studio. Man, I wonder what the boardroom meeting was like when they decided on that name. <laughs> In any event, buckle up folks, let's take this EXM1 Plus for a spin and see what it is all about. Taking a look at the EXM1 Plus from the front, you are greeted with an LCD screen and quite possibly the biggest knobs ever used in hi-fi. Under the amp is the power on button, which took forever to find, but once I did, I appreciated keeping the front panel as clean and minimal looking as possible. The left knob of the amp selects the inputs and the right knob simply controls the volume. Quite frankly, using this amp doesn't get any easier. And for those who like minimalistic, will appreciate the functionality. And yes, this guy does come with a nice metal remote, making life easy for those who don't care for the idea of leaving the sweet spot for any reason at all. All right, folks, I'm not going to chat about this for the next 45 minutes and I'll get straight to the point. The only folks out there that won't care about what I have to say about the performance of this amplifier are simply sticking their nose up about this being a Chinese made amplifier. Let me be clear about this and draw a line in the sand. Are cheap and crappy things made in China? Yes, there are some. And guess what, folks? There are cheap and crappy things made here in America and every other country in the world. While I absolutely have pride in great sounding and well-engineered products that are American made, I also appreciate when a piece arrives that seems to check off all the same boxes, even if it is made overseas. To be clear, folks, I will not stand for a single comment that comes across as derogatory, prejudice, or racist. I'm here to celebrate hi-fi when it's worth celebrating, and when it's not, I'll be the first to diplomatically let you know to save your money. Fair enough? So yeah, now let's talk about how badass this amplifier actually is. On the business end of the amplifier, the EXM1 Plus offers three single-ended inputs and one XLR input. It is important to note that this amplifier is not balanced and that jack is merely there for convenience. So yeah, if you had high hopes for a balanced topology, this amplifier unfortunately won't fit the bill. Either way, below the input jacks are home theater bypass options and preamp outputs. Now when it comes to the preamp options, the output can be enabled or disabled using the remote control or the power button by long pressing it. Out 1 means the amplifier is working as an integrated amp. Out 2 means the power section of the amp is disabled and the preamp outputs are now engaged via the output jacks. Out 1 plus 2 means the amp and the preamp are both activated, which opens the door to using loudspeakers from the EXM1 Plus and also running pre-outs to a subwoofer or an external power amp. Also worth mentioning, the EXM1 Plus is direct DC coupled without any capacitors in the signal pass, so preamp matching is important for those moving in that direction. To quote Kinky Studio directly, should you wish to use a different preamp, please be informed that we do not recommend the use of DC coupled OTL two-based preamps. The DC offset of such preamp may fluctuate as the tube valve ages and deteriorates. Besides the ins and outputs of the amplifier, there are some other interesting toggles and connections on this amplifier. First, there is a toggle switch labeled as DC filtering, which does the following. In the event where the AC transformer is mechanically humming, you can try enabling the DC filtering to cut down the noise. Second, Turning it on can also filter the DC offset that may be injected from the AC mains. Also, there is a toggle switch labeled as Earth Float, along with some terminals for connecting ground and earth wires to the back of the amp. These functions will allow the following. In regards to the float switch, this allows you to link the chassis to the AC mains earth or float it. If you experience a ground hum in your system, trying to float the amplifier might reduce or eliminate the hum heard in some situations. Now, 
With the ground and earth connections, this lug allows you to optimize ground and earth to your liking. As an example, if you have an external ground box, you can try connecting this lug directly to eliminate any hum or noise that might be introduced. Setting aside the functionality, let's get to the heart of the matter and discuss some of the standout specs of the amp. First and foremost, the amplifier is class AB and it is built like a tank. It weighs 55 pounds and offers 215 watts into four or eight ohms and yes, sports an impressive damping factor of 2000. The power amplifiers inside the EXM1 Plus are mounted directly on large custom made gold anodized heat sinks and the power stage is equipped with two pairs of power exicon mosfets again driven in class a b in order to achieve the high damping capabilities the exm1 plus employs high power rail supplies delivering fast and high recovery dc supply to the power stage with an ultra high slew rate and again being dc coupled this amp yields exceptionally quick and powerful dynamics on demand and not once in my time with this amp did I find it having a hard time driving any loudspeakers that I have in house. I find the EXM1 Plus to be absolutely pleasant in the upper octaves and all things in the time domain. While I have heard amps that seem to push the envelope of what all you can hear in the upper frequencies, the EXM1 Plus surely wasn't lagging behind. If anything, I found the top octave to be quite smooth and refined without sacrificing the good stuff. That is to say, when speakers are out in the room and you are able to actually hear things in the decay structure, this amp will give you 99.9% .9 of what is available and it does it with respect. Being specific and comparing, I do think that the recently reviewed AS2200 from Yamaha seemed to show off a little more decay than what the EXM1 Plus does, but here is the thing. My room is treated well, and I'm wondering for some of you guys out there, if that top end poking out with the Yamaha might not be such a good thing. In any event, the Yamaha is also $4,000 and the EXM1 Plus is under 2,900 bucks. So yeah, something to consider. Getting back on track, the top end of cymbal hits and room decay all sound as they should, but never called attention to themselves. There seems to be a relaxed posture in the top end extension of the EXM1 Plus. And in the end, I appreciated this about the amp and I think it's going to be great for those that are sensitive to top end extension and might enter listening fatigue when it is over the top. For me, the upper mid-range of the XM1 Plus follows suit on top end and all things electric guitar and upper registries of female vocals seem to be smoothed out and refined and never once did I struggle with something sounding harsh forward in the upper mid-range. Of all the frequency band where I am sensitive, this is the trouble area for me and I appreciated how even when rocking out at high volume levels, the XM1 Plus seemed to smooth out some of the sharp and jagged edges in the music which made it easier to enjoy for longer listening sessions. Now as we move into the heart of mid-range, a little bit lower, I gotta say this is where this amp quite frankly reminds me of what I've heard in the big boy amplifiers out there. While there is a smooth character in the mid-band in general, there also seems to be a very natural delivery of all things in this bandwidth. As I listened to Ben Howard's Every Kingdom, which is an album like I know like the back of my hand, I was absolutely convinced this amp was naturally voiced throughout the mid-range. Ben's voice was perfectly weighted and offered up many of the qualities I've heard in pass amps and first watt amplifiers that move in the direction of class A. Suspended in air-like holographic image is the way that I would describe it and having 3D dimensionality. Well, let me tell you folks, that's a whole other cupcake, my friends, and it is awesome. Both left and right, forward and back throughout the stage is what blew me away with the EXM1 Plus. Everything was holographic and suspended in air. So many cheap and everyday amplifiers suck at this and it makes it harder when so many folks don't even have their speakers set up to hear what I'm talking about, please use lots. But here it is, Ben Howard is front and center. His voice is perfectly balanced and has a natural quality to its tone. His guitar is positioned where it should be in relation to his voice and at the same time, his acoustic has body, weight, and I'm able to hear the inner resonance of the wood that's crafting the notes that are being played. Even more, the tone is just right. Never shrill, never honky, never forward, like I said before, folks, there seems to be great attention to detail that was given to the mid-band voicing of this amp, and it surely paid off in my listening sessions. Well, this is the easy part. This amp hits like a mag truck. 
You want power on tap and you're worried about driving your Maggies. I get it. Folks, there is no doubt in my mind that this amp would easily drive some of the hardest loads out there and not even flinch. I have had this amp connected to literally every single speaker that you have seen me review over the last few months, and I've been blown away by just how powerful all things bass sounds with this amp. At the same time, there is texture, tone, and clarity in all things bass, so don't get me wrong here. It's not just about the power, that's just part of the package you get with the EXM1 Plus. I could go on about this for the next 15 minutes, but why bother? As far as I'm concerned, the bass performance on the EXM1 Plus is world class, and that is the end of the story. And you guys know me, I wouldn't be so blunt about it if that's not exactly how I feel. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner on our hands, and with a ticket price of $28.98, this integrated is an easy recommendation here at New Record Day. Is it as sparky or lively as the Yamahas that we love so much? No, but I'll say this. It does seem to be better suited for the average audiophile, if there is such a thing. I guess what I'm saying is this. The forgiveness and the upper harmonics will be a blessing for many hi-fi enthusiasts out there that want to listen to music and listen to it for a long time without an ounce of fatigue. Is it warm sounding? No. The upper harmonic structure is certainly intact. It's just smoothed out a little, which makes listening a complete joy. With an engaging mid-range that is quite frankly superb and bass performance that hits like a mag truck, what more can I say here, folks? This would be the kind of amp that I would absolutely own and use for many years to come. Well done on this one, Kinky Studio. Keep up the good work and send us anything you want us to review in the future. Clearly the hard work of paying attention to how the amp actually sounds has paid off. And you guys are most welcome here at New Record Day. Yeah.